Woe unto you that are at ease in Zion. See, a life of leisure and pleasure doesn't keep you on the cutting edge of being ready for war at any time. And remember, the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal as ye suppose, but they're mighty through y'all to the pulling down of what? Strongholds. So you want to be at ease and we got a war going on. You're supposed to be able to please him, live your life in such a way who has called you to be a good soldier. A soldier, yeah, that implies you in a war. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Satan is always trying to get you to be passive and relax. Naturally and spiritually. And if you hadn't figured it out yet, when you're at ease here on this earth, it's a detriment to you. It destroys you slowly and methodically. Makes you good for nothing. Makes you the perfect murmur and complainer. When pride cometh, now he defines it by saying, boiling up with an arrogant attitude of self-importance. You ever see somebody get rebuked and they trying to boil up on the inside and you don't understand? And... Hmm. Then come a dishonor and shame, but with the humble, the teachable, who have been chiseled by trial. Chiseled by trial. And who have learned to walk humbly with Yah. Chiseled by trial. You know what that means, right? I mean, think, think about it. If you got a piece of stone and you're chiseling, you're, you're, you're conforming to be molded in such a hard way to be the image of Yah. You want to be in the very image of Yah. You ain't the substance, you're the type. Being the type means you're the shadow. You see the reflection of y'all, you, being through trial, forged through tribulation, forged through the violent act of being righteous and being holy. Uh-oh. That means it's pretty hard to knock some rock off of you. We. You ever heard of this word before? Anybody ever been hard-headed? That means your head ain't y'all's head. It's unformed. <laughs> it can't even be key form. Conformed. Be not conformed to this world, but be you chiseled, molded, etched by the renewing of your mind. 